Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here. So it is actually my day off today, which never happens, which is so funny because since I have started my own business where I clean people's teeth in their own homes, plus I do have my own home office, which you guys cannot see because I have this lovely room divider up, but I don't really have time off because I can't say no to patients when they need me because you want to make money, right? With the new business. Um, but today I have the whole day off. So I will be doing videos to talk about some must have products. So I find that one thing that sets me apart is when I talk about a product with a patient, whether it be a toothpaste, a mouthwash, the water pick, I say, well, if this is something you would like to purchase, I actually have it here for you. So depending on where you live in Canada, we cannot make commission off of any um, products that we give to our patients because if we're making commission, it can suggest that we're just selling it to make a profit, right? But in, this, in the States, I believe they don't have that rule. So before you continue, please check with your dental hygiene or dental assisting um, uh, um, association to make sure that you're following their guidelines, okay? So I have a wide variety of products that have literally helped my patients so much. I actually have more, but, oh wait, sorry, I do have more. Let me just grab a couple more, you guys. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm sorry, I guess I could have paused the video, but I didn't think about doing that. So I have a wide variety of products that I, I actually have on hand for my patients. So I'm going to talk about them a little bit, and I think that everybody should start doing this because you will set yourself apart, you know, take pictures, post on like Instagram, on Facebook, whatever, because patients want to know what you have. But what I like to do is if I post a picture of say, I got these two new um, mouth washes in, right? That's not all I'm going to say when I post a picture. I will actually explain why patients should be using a mouthwash and for what. So I might say something like, do you get 10 cavities at every um, dental hygiene visit? What if I told you that will not happen anymore if you start using a mouthwash? Patients will look at that and say, oh my God, 10 cavities, does that actually happen? Oh, wait a minute, I had six cavities at my last visit, do I need a mouthwash? They will read that post, they will want to know more, they will come see me because they know that I care about helping them not get cavities. So speaking of mouthwashes, these are the two that I sell in my practice, they do different things. So if I have a patient who says, you know what, I would like whiter teeth, plus I get a lot of cavities. Even if I see a patient who, you know, they get a lot of incipients or they have these little cavities, these, these um, suspected little cavities that mm, maybe they're not a big cavity, but they're pretty tiny, but I don't want them to get bigger. I will suggest a mouthwash. So there's two different kinds. This one is a little bit less expensive. So if patients are concerned about the price, which happens, um, then this one's excellent because this is something that has, I believe it's 0.2% sodium fluoride. Sorry guys, I'm just refreshing my memory. 0.02% um, sodium fluoride, yes, you guys probably can't see that, it's super duper tiny, but so this is something that they should be using every day, twice a day, even after they eat, that's what I say, to help to limit that bacteria load in the mouth and to prevent cavities and to remineralize that enamel that is starting to wear away and causing cavities. So this stuff is perfect. But then if I have a patient who, let's say they have a lot of cavities, plus their gums are bleeding like crazy, um, there's a lot of plaque, a lot of tartar, like wow, like they need teeth health and gum health. This is amazing because it is also a sodium fluoride, sorry guys, just double checking as well, that's French, 0.2% um, sodium fluoride. Um, or sorry, um, neutral sodium fluoride. So what does that mean? This helps to keep that pH in the mouth neutral so that bacteria that causes cavities in the first place can't come back, or sorry, can't cause those cavities because if the pH is neutral 
and cavities form, let's just say at a, at a 5.5 pH level. Well, if your pH is up to a six or seven, a cavity can't form in the first place. But this will also help to um, clean and, and help to heal your um, gum tissue. So if there's a lot of bleeding, if maybe they're not brushing twice a day, if perhaps they just don't like the taste of this one, or they try this one and they're like, oh my God, I love using a mouthwash, but I don't like the taste at all. Then I will say, please try this one because I want you to be using something. So they have their own benefits, right? Okay, so another thing that I like to mention are these other two toothpastes. So if I get like a three-year-old with a, oh, sorry, a three-year-old, you know, like four-year-old, whatever, with a lot of cavities, I, I would like them to have this because this is all just, Blah. Sorry guys, this is also, I've been talking a lot today, this is also a toothpaste that is pH neutral and this has um, xylitol of 25%, which I forgot to mention. This also contains xylitol of 10%. What is xylitol? That helps to neutralize pH and that will help to limit that bacterial load that's in the mouth in the first place. So this is perfect for kids who are getting a lot of cavities. One toothpaste does not fit all. You know, all, all of the other toothpastes out there without mentioning names, they don't have what these ones all have. They probably don't contain xylitol. And xylitol is what that patient needs, especially if, if they're, bleh, oh my goodness, I'm talking too much today. If they get a lot of cavities, okay? But what about adults? Let's say an adult, that's the French side, has super sensitive teeth. This toothpaste is amazing. Let's say they've tried Sensodyne, other products, but it doesn't quite work for them. This toothpaste is amazing. In fact, I think all adults should be using this, this toothpaste because it can't hurt anybody because this has xylitol also. But the thing about this, this um, toothpaste too is I don't want them to just use this toothpaste because it does have the xylitol of 10%, but there's no fluoride, I believe, no, in this one. I want patients to use the fluoride because that will help to re, um, remineralize any of those areas that need it. So then I will say use this toothpaste and either one of these mouthwashes as a full step, like dental hygiene cleaning, right? At home. So see how they all have their different things. Um, I talked about the whitening toothpaste a little bit earlier. So if you have that patient that says, well, I really want a toothpaste that will help to whiten teeth, okay? You want to steer them in the right direction. You do not want them to just use any old toothpaste that is probably too coarse for the enamel. So I actually like these ones, okay? So this one I use um, every day, three times a day. Um, but also I tell patients, well, if you want to take it a step further, because I do have a lot of patients who say, uh, well, the charcoal is the thing now. So what like charcoal toothpaste would you recommend? Because that is what I want. I will say this one. I will say, do not use a powder from China or wherever because it's not made for your teeth. This one is made for, for your teeth. It is completely safe. You can use it every day if you want, you know? So I have two different options, you know? This one's more expensive. So, um, depending on where you live, about $35 to $40. So I have a lot of patients who kind of say, um, I really don't want to spend that much. So then I will say, well, then you know what? Try this one for a lot less, but it works. You will love it, okay? And with any of these products, if they don't like it, they can take it back. So that's kind of nice too, right? Um, so that's what I like to recommend. I'll see if I can hold them all again. Probably not, but I like to have these things on hand. So when I'm talking about them with my patients, I can say, well, if you want them, here you go. Let me know. Done and done. Plus, which I don't have with me now, but I like to buy um, the water picks too. So I like ones actually from Amazon, which I can leave the link for you guys on the bottom there too. Um, they're about 49 to $50, depending on if they're on sale but I love patients to use a water pick. So I typically have three in stock. I should probably have more, but that's just kind of like a lot to buy out front. But um, I do have those in stock too. Oh, a toothbrush. I forgot to mention toothbrushes. 
Um, I like electric toothbrushes too, which I do have that. I can leave the link for you guys on the bottom there too, but I love these manual toothbrushes, okay? They are amazing. They are super soft. Actually, I think the name is ultra soft, but they're a little bit wider and like longer and there's a lot more in there. Um, plus you have to hold it a certain way so you're not brushing too hard. So I love that too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know if there's any questions. I'll try to leave links for all of these on the bottom. So let me know if you need anything and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.